Hi, I am Dr. P. Kajiravan, Professor in the Department of Pharmacy, Karthoma Academy of Higher Education. I am going to deliver the topic of Coolant Targeted Drug Delivery System. In this topic, mainly are seven lecture series. The lecture series one will be uh, introduction part, lecture series two will be anatomy of colon, lecture three will be criteria for drug selection, lecture four will be approaches for colon targeting, lecture five will be advantages and disadvantages, lecture six will be methods of colon targeting formulation, lecture seven will be evaluation and conclusion, each lecture consisting of 10 to 15 minutes video frame. Today we are going to discuss about the colon targeted drug delivery system of introduction part. In this the oral control release formulations for the small intestine and colon have received considerable attention in the past 25 years for a variety of reasons including the pharmaceutical superiority and clinical benefits derived from the drug release pattern that are not achieved with the traditional immediate or sustained release products. The targeted drug delivery to the colon is highly for focused on local treatment of variety of bowel disease. They are ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, amoebiosis, colonic cancer and it is mainly useful for local treatment of colonic pathologies and systemic delivery of protein and peptide drugs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and steroid. The local treatment of colonic pathologies, it means the internal and external parts of the colonic disease. Systemic delivery is a particular site of the particular organ in our humans. The colon specific drug delivery system should be capable of protecting the drug en route to the colon that is drug release and absorbed should not occur in the stomach as well as the small intestine and neither the bioactive agent should be degraded in either of the dissolution sites but only re released and absorbed once the system reaches the colon. The colon is believed to be a suitable absorption site for peptides and protein drugs for the following reasons. Less diversity and intensity of digestive enzymes. The less diversity means the drugs cannot divert for any part of the body, particularly target the particular sites. The, and intensity of digestive enzymes. Some drugs are degradation for some of the liver enzymes. So, due to the avoiding for that factor, the intensity of digestive enzyme for colon targeted drug delivery system. Less proteolytic activity of colon mucosa than that of small intestine. Some of the marketed drugs is degradation by protein enzymes. That is why the less proteolytic activity for colon targeted drug delivery systems. The rectal route of administration can also be uncomfortable for patients and compliance may be less than optimal. Drug preparation for intrarectal administration is supplied as solution form foaming form and suppositories. The intrarectal route is used both as a means of systemic dosing and for the delivery topically active drug to the large intestine. The corticosteroids such as hydrocortisone and brednisolone are administered via the rectum route for the treatment of ulcerative colitis. Especially the hydrocortisone and brednisolone corticosteroid drugs, peculiarly the treatment of ulcerative colitis at the route of administration of the rectum route. The concentration of drug reaching the colon depends on formulation factors. In marketly, many of the formulation is available. For example, tablet, capsules, polymer coated capsule, nanoparticles, nano sponge, microparticles. Based on the dosage form, the drug concentration is reaches to the colon area. Colon targeted drug delivery would ensure direct treatment at the disease site. So, lowering dosing level and less systemic effect effects. Once the drug target to the colon, the automatically lower dosing as well as the less systemic side, side effects. Colon targeted drug delivery would ensure direct treatment at the disease site, lower dosing and less systemic side effects. The colon targeted de drug delivery system, the drugs target the 100% viability in the colon area. Because of that, 
automatically dose will be lower as well as the less systemic side effect for the local disorders of colon. The colon specific drug delivery system also helpful in the treatment of asthma, angina and rheumatoid arthritis for taking advantage of chronotherapeutic drug delivery and for a delivery of steroids. The mean of chronotherapeutic is a time treatment for specific disease in the colon disorders. The aim of a targeted drug delivery system is to provide a desired drug concentration in the body by delivering a therapeutic amount of drug to a target site. The colon specific drug delivery system is suitable and required for the drugs having instability, low solubility, short half-life, a large volume of distribution, poor absorption, low specificity and therapeutic index. Meanwhile, it can also minimize adverse effects, the toxicity of potent drugs by reducing. The oral route is most convenient and important method for administration of drugs for systemic effect. Need of colon targeted drug delivery systems. So targeted drug delivery to the colon would ensure direct treatment of the disease site with lowering dosing level as well as the fever systemic side effects. The situation specific or targeted drug delivery system would allow oral administration of peptide and protein drugs. The colon is a site where both local or systemic drug delivery could be achieved topical treatment of inflammatory bowel disease such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. Such inflammatory conditions are normally treated with glucocorticoids and sulfasalazine. Other serious disease of the colon like colorectal cancer might be capable of being treated more effectively if drugs were targeted to the colon. Let's come to the end of the session. I hope you all understand introduction about the colon targeted drug delivery system. The upcoming lecture series we are going to see about the anatomy of colon. Thank you.